Welcome to this video. Proving the Native American ancestor based on consensus. Already a long time ago consensus proposed to order Y-DNA haplogroups to prove the human ancestor, like for example, 1, in alphabetical order like ABCDE up to R, 2, in related groups like Q blue, C yellow and purple, E green and R red, 3, as a tree that has the ancestor of all humans at the top. C, next to Q, were clearly early, giant and important in populating the world. D and especially E are important in populating Africa. YAP lineages today are mostly found in Japan and Tibet and scattered throughout Southeast Asia, Sue et al. 1999. C, D, and E, Japan and the Pacific. There are certain indications for an early arrival or landing of C, but later also D in Japan and Australia. Such a landing of C and D in Japan and Australia is rather logical when one departs from 1. The fundamentals that indicate the Native American and the Americas as ancestor of all humans. 2. The currents and winds to the west that reign over the equatorial Pacific Ocean and uniquely come from the Americas. The only currents and routes that could have brought C and possibly D to islands and coasts like Oceania, Australia and Japan are the equatorial Pacific Ocean currents and winds that direct to the west, and that only depart from the Americas in the East Pacific, and not at all from Africa that is very distant and against the currents and winds to the Pacific, with Japan, Australia and Oceania, obviously only reachable with boats. Amongst Oceania, Australia and Japan, only Japan was connected to Eurasia and this only in Ice Ages. As said, the same as 4C in Japan is also the case 4C in Australia, Indonesia and Southeast Asia and Tibet where also D occurs most frequently next to Japan. What happened with C is similar to what happened with Q in Indonesia and Southeast Asia much earlier in our history. Q being the by fundamentals proven ancestor is obviously very old and largely wiped out by its own descendants, except in the Americas. 1. In Japan, Australia, Indonesia and Southeast Asia Q is wiped out by its own direct descendants like mainly C and later D and DE with the YAP or black skin related mutation, probably already paving the way for E in Africa. 2. In Africa Q is wiped out by its own descendants but mainly E. 3. In Western Eurasia Q is wiped out by its own descendants but mainly R. The Cro-Magnon, Magdalenians and other early morphological modern humans related to the Clovis culture in the Americas, carried C and arrived in Western Eurasia roughly 50,000 years ago. Resuming, Q and C that were and still are giants in time and in space are the proven ancestors, and early on also present clear characteristics as well as the ancestral and migrational behavior of the ancestors of all humans. Just like Q, its direct ascendancy is wiped out in large parts of the world, and this for the same reasons that Q was wiped out before. Consensus did not present Q in this tree, but when one interprets clinically that what is proven by science, the ancestor and thus Q is the only haplogroup that can be positioned at the top of the tree, this with C in its descending footsteps. A and B are both kind of end of the line because it is a clear and undeniable fact that A and B never left Africa and hardly survived and exist inside of Africa. Haplogroups A and B and the related mitochondrial haplogroups L are insignificant when it comes to populating the world. Further haplogroups A and B both miss at least three of the most important markers for all modern humans. A loss of these markers in the case of Africans, or the acquisition of these markers in the case of all modern humans is nearly impossible and never proven. Amongst others haplogroups A and B do not carry the haplogroups CT or CF, and they do not present the DNA that all non-African modern humans carry, and that is related to haplotypes like B006 that are interpreted as or related to Neanderthal and Denisovan. Nevertheless, A, B and L are studied in detail in other videos, where these claims are confirmed. This makes that C becomes the first letter in the leftover alphabetical order, and C has proven its roots in a clear presence in the Americas and next in Asia and Australia. Second to Q, C is also a giant in time and in space, in fact Q and C are the only giants. 
Differently from A and B, C is not an end of a line, but a beginning of several new lines, for starters D and E and possibly subgroups of C, as visible in the now presented limited tree, but also the mosaic. Further D and E descend from C and are related and present the for them unique YAP mutation. This YAP mutation typical for D and E is strongly associated with black skin and Austronesian DNA. Austronesian DNA in its turn is associated to Native Americans, and related peoples with black skin can be found on the migration routes of C all the way from Oceania, Australia and Japan to Africa. DE or D and E can still be found in Japan and westwards until and dominating inside of Africa. All this means and proves that D in Asia and E in Africa are end of the lines, just like A and B are end of the lines, also meaning none of them gave rise to modern humans outside of Africa. While A and B are not, the from the east incoming E clearly is able to dominate Africa and probably severely pushed back A and B, and possibly Q, to deserts and for them unexplorable dense tropical forests. D could hold on to and dominate a small part of its initial spreading in Asia. So all so-called African groups like A, B and E and even D are proven to be end of the lines. This most probably is so because of the out of the Americas and its obvious competition of its ancestors Q and C and their descendants D and E, and especially of R, O, L etc. R clearly has its roots and significant presence in the Americas and Australia and is able to explore all possible routes to the rest of the world. In the by consensus alphabetical order or ABC, D comes next to C, and D comes from the area that is covered by C, that includes what is today Australia. C and D carry Native American DNA from its roots in the Americas to Africa. Thank you for watching. Bye.